Isn't it great to see them together finally? It's exciting. If everyone will please remain standing for the National Anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. The pledge will be led by Timothy James Hopping. Gentlemen, if you'll please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You can be seated, please. This is a celebration of graduation for the Gilmer High School class of 2020. This event is an important milestone in the lives of these young people, in the lives of those who have supported, nurtured, and taught them. We ask that you recognize these moments together this evening with your solemn attention. Our goal is to honor these seniors, making an end to a portion of their lives and an important beginning of the remainder. Please help us be sure that every parent and family member has a chance to hear their graduate's name when it's called tonight. You can help us with that by making sure cell phones are turned off and you refrain from distractions such as shouting or using noise-making devices. To comply with the state-mandated social distancing guidelines, as we can see, we ask for your cooperation at the conclusion of the ceremony. It's going to be a little bit different, so we're just going to ask guests, please remain seated until each graduate has exited the stadium. Family and friends will be released shortly thereafter. We'll be calling them out by row. Another thing is the state is not allowing us to have people gathered on the field. And so whenever you're done, you'll have to exit the stadium. This class, the class of 2020, has 44 students graduating as a distinguished graduate with performance acknowledgement. These seniors have a total of 300 and 65 college credit hours, and they have received $2.5 million in scholarships. At this time, I would like to introduce Nicholas Hugh Hamilton as he delivers our opening remarks.
Please pray with me. Father, you're so good. Thank you for allowing us to meet here. Thank you for being with us all throughout our schooling. Thank you for your endless love. Lord, I pray that you please be with our world as we face this pandemic. I pray that you will be with those that are sick and with those that have lost loved ones. Father, I pray that you comfort those who have lost loved ones from COVID-19. Lord, I pray that you please continue to watch over our nation. Lord, I pray for justice, that justice will roll on like a river for every man, woman, and child of this great nation. Lord, I pray that you give peace to those with broken hearts and that you break our hearts for what breaks you for what breaks yours. I pray that we will call out sin and seek justice where justice is needed. I pray that you give our great nation peace. Lord, I pray for our community, that we will unite as one under God, and that we will do our part to seek righteousness in your eyes. Father, I especially lift up the graduating class of 2020. I pray that we will see your goodness in everything. I pray that you will continue to mold us into the young men and women you have created us for. Lastly, I pray that each and every one of us will know you as our Savior and Lord. Father, thank you so much for today and for the ability to be together and celebrate such an amazing accomplishment. Most importantly, thank you for your endless love that was shown for us on the cross and for your endless might that was shown three days later when you rose victoriously and for your endless grace, a grace that we don't deserve and yet you give it to us freely that if we confess with our mouth that you are Lord and believe in our hearts that you rose from the dead that we will be with you one day in eternity. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us. In your name, in your name alone, amen. It is my privilege to introduce the 2020 Gilmer High School Salutatorian Caitlin Danielle Castro. With an overall grade point average of 4.348, Caitlin has earned the honor of being named salutatorian of the class of 2020. This plaque is awarded in recognition of her achievement. Good evening. Hopefully all of you know me by now, but if you don't, I'm Caitlin. The girl some of you hated because I despised putting effort forth just to share my answers and help you cheat. The girl that unintentionally had an RBF every time I passed you in the hall. Or the girl some of you liked because we became best friends, binge TV shows together, ate gallons of ice cream, experienced my amazing driving skills, especially without contacts and laughed through every minute of the last 12 years of our life. If there is one thing that Gilmer ISD taught me, it is my purpose. As we close this chapter of our lives and walk into the next, we are all faced with an exciting yet nerve-wracking question. What is your purpose? You see, the thing about this question is it's different for all of us. But we all hold one thing together. The next steps we take will affect the rest of our lives. Or as Hannah Montana puts it best, a chapter is ending, but the story is only just begun. A page is turning for everyone. 
I could stand here and tell you all the things I think we should do or mention every cliche in a graduation speech, but instead, I'm going to share a few of the lessons I've learned. All of our lives, we have been identified as the dreadful grade. Most famously, we have all heard the quote unquote, y'all are the bad grade, or your teachers warned me about y'all. As a whole, we have always been the loud, wild, and crazy group. But we are also the ambitious, creative, talented, beautiful group of aspiring teachers, doctors, engineers, lawyers, politicians, and artists who have the potential to change the world. Much like carrying this negative label, all of intermediate, junior high, and high school, life carries labels. We will be told who we are and where we stand, but it is only you who decides if these labels are true. It is only you who decides your fate. Personally, I believe we should all be so proud of how we've handled this year. I don't know about the rest of you, but I fought so many silent battles, wiped my own tears, and got myself back up. Not only should you be proud of yourself, but you, you should continue to carry yourself in a way that will allow you to look back and continue to be proud. We finished school in a time of uncertainty, made it through the hallways of a high school with cats falling out of the ceiling, skunks roaming the halls, and science labs that brought harmful chemicals from the ventilator right back into the classroom. Moral of the story is against all odds, we still manage to graduate. Now let's take a few steps back. Four years ago, we entered Gilmer High School. We went on class tours, imagining ourselves to be the most popular, the best musician, or the strongest athlete. We were nervous, scared, and clueless as to what our future held. We went on awkward first dates, humiliated ourselves in learning Spanish, went to our very first real game day. Clamp came to school dressed as Harambe. Devin learned for the very first time in eight years that my name isn't Kathy. And Audrey and I had the high scores in golf, literally. We can't forget Grant going to the hospital on ambulance, twice, as if that wasn't a sign. Finally, we made it through our very first year and sophomore year came. Caitlin remained 15 and without a license, while the rest of you somehow had parents who trusted you to drive. Avery and Eric won the loser bracket in tennis. To no one's surprise, Grant ended up in the hospital again. And the band, yet again, won sweepstakes. Junior year, the year of complaining, 50 pound backpacks, and the loss of any social life. Bonnie dominated in throwing events. We went to prom, we took the last stars ever, and fast forward to this year. Oh, how expect. Jake and Nick still crushed homewinking week. Someone let Eric dedicate his life to TikTok. I said I was going to drop out at least three times a day, but the biggest surprise was Grant not going to the hospital. We have faced a multitude of successes, failures, disappointments, losses, rewards, surprises, and joys in our life. But against all odds, we still manage to graduate. Our lives will not be defined by our time in this building, our high school GBA, or the list of extracurriculars we took part in. We will move on to learn more, to reach new heights, to develop new skills, and to become new people. With a world population well over 7.7 .7 billion, the 160 of us make up roughly 0.000002% of the world. However, we each have the potential to change the world and to make a difference. Gilmer High School Class of 2020, leave your legacy. Make your mark on this world. Do not let your time in this building be the end of your success. I was once told, passion is what consumes your heart and mind. Purpose 
is how you use this passion in a concrete way. Find your passion, relentlessly pursue it, and give your passion a purpose. While all of our futures look different, college, the military, the workforce, we all have the ability to give our passion purpose, to leave a lasting legacy, to become more than who we are today. Sharpay Evans in High School Musical put it best when she said, I believe in dreaming, shooting for the stars, baby to be number one, you've got to raise the bar. No matter how many touchdowns we scored, exams we aced, or contests we won, our future is dependent on what we choose to do now, on how we choose to the raise the bar. You are not a composition of your past, but rather you are who you choose to become now. You are in control. Before I leave, we cannot forget to be thankful. To every single teacher and staff member at Gilmer ISD, no matter how much I liked your class, thank you. It is because of you that I'm standing at this podium today. It is because of you that I was on the edge of a mental breakdown, I made it through. It is because of you that we as the class of 2020 are able to step out of this building and into the rest of the world. For Mr. Kehi teaching me how to pump gas when I needed gas for the first time and was more prepared just to run out. To Ms. Jones staying on Zoom calls even though I was the only one to show up. Each of you have the dedication, resilience, passion, courage, and excellence that I strive to have. It is because of you that we are here today. To mom and dad, thank you for everything. I'm truly blessed to have parents like you. I'm eternally grateful for you listening to my rants, listening to ball about nothing, for pushing me to be the best version of myself, and for believing in me even when I did not believe in myself. To Kenzie and Connor, thank you. Although you get on my last nerve and I might have thrown a hairbrush at you once or twice, you are the people I look to the most. You are both my best friend, my worst enemy, my role model, coach, and mentor, and I love each of you with all of my heart. The point is, thank you for all being here today. No matter if you are physically present or listening to this live, we truly appreciate you. No matter who you are supporting today, I hope you realize the impact your presence leaves. Having your guidance, love, and support are appreciated more than you know. To the class of 2020, congrats. Thank you for playing a part in the last 12 years of my life, and thank you for letting me play a part in yours. You taught me that it's, not, it's okay not to fit in, to see the value in our differences, to understand the merit and honesty, and to realize the impact we have on one another. If you get anything out of today, I hope you realize your potential. Thank you. Never want to follow Caitlin at the microphone. Tonight, we're also thankful to have our school board members with us. At this time, I would like to introduce the Gilmer Independent School District Board of Trustees. Mr. Mark Skinner, President. Mr. Kenny Southwell, Vice President and Ms. Gloria King. Neither one of them could be here tonight. Mr. John Dean. Ms. Lula Johnson. Mr. Jeff Murray. And Mr. Larry Montgomery. We also have some others tonight, our assistant superintendent, Greg Watson, 
and she's usually on the field with us tonight, but she's going to be announcing names is our other assistant superintendent, Dr. Don Harris, who's up in the press box. We also have our superintendent of schools, Mr. Rick Albritt. One other person I'd like to recognize, she was voted on by her peers. Every year we have our staff select a teacher of the year, and this teacher would have received it, whether it's our staff voting or the students, and that is Miss Rochelle Johnson. Also, here in front, we could not have every teacher um, and so we have about 15 of our staff members. We couldn't have everyone because of the limitations. This is absolutely the best, most loving and caring staff that you'll find anywhere in the state of Texas, and I'm not lying. And so these people are here tonight, and I know these graduates love them. Y'all need to be the ones clapping for them, okay? So tonight, graduating with the highest honors, with an overall grade point average of 4.546, it is my privilege to introduce the 2020 Gilmer High School Valedictorian, Molly Alexandra Sullivan. This plaque is awarded in recognition of her achievement. Hello and good evening. I'm genuinely surprised that I get to stand before you all today. So I'm happy and extremely honored to be here. Um, I, this will likely be the last time I see many of you. And that can be a little sad, but I don't want this to be a sappy speech considering how stressful the past few months have been. Sure, we missed out actually going to school for the last few months of our senior year, but let's be honest, senioritis was starting to set in and we weren't gonna be there every day regardless. Instead, I've been trying to look at the bright side of things. We wanted to sleep anyway, and now we got the chance to. And I also truly believe that we got special attention from our community because of what's going on. Our amazing faculty and staff continue to work hard and support us through these times, whether that was by providing meals or working with students who didn't have access to the online classes, and we thank them for that. However, a lot of us were also adopted by somebody outside of our family and sent gifts. Now, I think it's pretty ironic that we were born during 9-11 and now we're graduating during a pandemic, so people decide to send us gifts and spoil us. However, we are not complaining and you can keep sending us as much as you'd like. The way I look at it, we did not get the short end of the stick. If anything, social distancing just gave us all the time in the world to do the things we never had time to do before, whether that was picking up a new hobby or developing the skills that we already had. I hope that you all took advantage of this because I would expect nothing less from the class of 2020. We didn't go through 12 years of high school and become the last graduating class from this school before it's completely torn down just to fall apart during the last three months. Whenever I started selling Girl Scout cookies 10 years ago, I would get very tired standing through eight hour booth sales saying the same question over and over. And my mom always told me to fake it till you make it. So I use that all throughout high school for the fun and the hard work of late nights and early mornings. So I'm not going to stop doing that now just because I've had to miss out on some of my last high school memories and I had to stay home. We still have those memories from all the years before and up until social distancing started. And it's not like we have to stop seeing our friends once all of this is less of a problem. Again, I hope you've learned something from home. I hope that not being able to go out and not having much to do has shown you all how important it is to build the relationships with the people you care about the most. It doesn't matter what your rank is. It makes you no better or worse than anyone else. But being a good person means being kind, and true happiness is often found through other people, not money or not even your accomplishments. 
In other words, social distancing will forever change the way people see the world. But I think that we should see this time as another opportunity for growth. By taking the lessons that we have learned in and out of the classroom into the future, our class will do great things. We will be the world's next problem solvers, soldiers, leaders, and much more thanks to the things we've experienced here, here at Gilmer High School. But there is so much more to experience once we leave this place and move on to the next adventure, whether that be college, the military, a career, or whatever else you may end up doing. The world will continue spinning through these difficult times. So continue to work hard and be optimistic. That's what I plan on doing next fall at Texas A&M as the loudest and proudest, proudest member of the class of 2024. Thank you all for your time and gig em. Thank you, Molly. I'm going to find this eventually. All right, at this time, Mr. Rick Albritton, assisted by School Board President Mark Skinner, will present honor cords to the top 10% of the class of 2020. At this time, honor graduates, please rise. Once your name is called, please step forward to receive your honor cord. Molly Alexandra Sullivan. Caitlin Danielle Castro. Katie Lee Amaya. Logan Ross Hall. Timothy James Hopping. Mackenzie Raylan Kitchell. Delaney Faith Wilson. Nicholas Hugh Hamilton. Audrey Scott Nolan. Morgan Christina Hughes. Daphne Renee Hancock. Bonnie Marie Clifton. JC Catherine Pilcher. Heather Marie Carter. Stanley Jacob Mahan. Georgia Elaine Puckett. Once again, your top 10% of the class of 2020. Sit down. This year, Gilmer High School has 44 distinguished graduates. These students had to qualify by taking a minimum of 12 college hours and earning at least a 3.0 GPA in their college course, scoring a three or higher on an advanced placement exam scoring a 28 or higher on their ACT, or earning a nationally recognized industry-based certification. Distinguished graduates, please stand at your seats and be recognized when your name is called. These students chose to participate in coursework above and beyond the traditional graduation requirements. 
Porfirio Abundes. Katie Lee Amaya. Rory Davis Arterberry. Carson Glenn Barber. Catherine Aline Bennett. Brandon Lee Black. Jesse Edgar Bledsoe. Heather Marie Carter. Caitlin Danielle Castro. Bonnie Marie Clifton. Bailey Nicole Danner. Jordan Elijah Gilbert. Mackenzie Renee Green. Dylan Cade Gidry. Logan Ross Hall. Nicholas Hugh Hamilton. Daphne Renee Hancock. Riley Shane Hendricks. Timothy James Hopping. Kaylin James Huey. Morgan Christina Hughes. Avery Ann Jackson. Mackenzie Raylene Kitchell. Jacob Paul Knight II. Marcy Abigail Lowe. Carson Blake Martin. Stanley Jacob Mahan. Robin K. McCulley. Benjamin David McLaughlin, Jr. Audrey Scott Nolan. Kayla Corinne Peltzer. JC Catherine Pilcher. Alan Daniel Plata. Georgia Elaine Puckett. Riley Nicole Rigsby. Matthew Gregory Sinclair. Molly Alexandra Sullivan. Austin Schuyler Terry. Esteban Haciel Valdez. Gracie Rose Weaver. Delaney Faith Wilson. Colby Charles Wynn. Eric Zamoron. Please join me in giving all 44 graduates a round of applause. Okay, I'm going to cut my speech a little short. It's a little bit warm tonight. Uh, they just texted me and said we have close to 400 people watching on Facebook. And I know they're watching to see them and not me. So we're going to make this as quick as I can. Uh, may have noticed a little bit of construction going on around the stadium. What you see is the soon to be completed New Gilmer High School. So we want to thank the community so, for supporting our students and for allowing us to build this state-of-the-art facility. With everything this class has gone through, from 9-11 to COVID-19, it kind of tops it off that they would not get to go to the new school, but they are an integral part of the new school. Tonight is a time of celebration and a time of reflection. We celebrate these amazing young people tonight, and we celebrate not just the accomplishments, but also the friendships and the relationships that we all have built over the years. To me, life is all about relationships, 
And we look at this group tonight, you'll see a group of kids who love life, they love their families, and they love their classmates. So Caitlin was partly right. Whenever they came to the high school four years ago, they said, watch out, you're getting quite the group. And they were, their freshman year. Sophomore year is a little bit better, junior year is a little bit better, and then it was cut about halfway short this year. Uh, but they, are, they have been a great group. So I've had the opportunity to be their principal for four years. We tried to make it an enjoyable experience for them while also receiving a great education. This was a small part of their life and the relationships they have built over the years. Some will fade away, some will grow stronger. One relationship that will be with you forever is you will always be a Gilmer Buckeye. And this staff and this school will always be here for you. Each year graduation comes and I start reflecting uh, just kind of back on each group and each kid. And parents, the easiest way I can explain it is probably what you're going through right now with your child. Uh, we see these kids as ours. So I start reflecting like you have been is have we done everything to prepare them? You know, this child tonight is going to leave out of here and some are going to the military, some are going to college some are going to the workforce and I just start reflecting on that is did we do everything possible and I think the staff has done that one thing I can tell you that myself and these staff members have done is we have loved these kids like no other staff ever would have and so they have definitely received that this group is special because they are full of energy if it's Eddie Ray having to be my hall monitor because I couldn't keep him in class. So I, I named him kind of hall monitor. Uh, we sat there and watched the parade last night. We sat on the end and, and we saw so many faces that kind of started out as these little 14-year-old uh, immature boys and girls that were involved in drama. And they've grown up into these fine adults. So I started thinking about, whenever I think about qualities, that these kids need whenever they leave here tonight. Some kids' names and their faces popped into my mind, and I'm going to recognize them, but every single child here tonight falls into one of these categories. Diamond Fluellen and Mackenzie Kitchell. Y'all stand up so they'll know who you are. Whenever you think about kindness, which is what you need, these two exemplify kindness. I'm telling you, every time you see these two. They always have a smile on their face. I've never heard a negative word come out of their mouth in four years. They're always uplifting others. If we all had their kindness, this would be a much better nation, I promise you that. Thank you, girls. Nisha Jones and Esteban, Esti Valdez, y'all stand up. These are, these are two students whenever I think of the word servant. Someone that's gonna go out into this world and leave here tonight and, and they're gonna serve others. Nisha comes to me often wanting to do something for other students and it's always her idea. It's always something from a volunteer project to wanting to start a, a prayer locker where kids could put in prayer requests into a locker. I, I could go on and on over the last four years that Nisha has come to me wanting to serve her classmates. And she'd always say, Mr. Bowman, no one has to know it was me. I just want to do this for them. Esteban, funny story about Esteban. I asked him one day, he, he was an office aide this year, and I said, Esteban, I asked Mr. Bradshaw about you at the junior high. He says he doesn't remember you. And Esteban said, Mr. Bowman, I didn't know English back then. I didn't talk to anybody. Esteban has become almost a part of our administrative staff. During COVID-19, he came up to see us almost every single day. Just to visit with us, uh, pulled out his guitar one day and started playing just Christian songs for us to try to help us. And this is an 18, 17 year old kid that was witnessing to us as adults. <clears throat> J. 
Jamar Wheeler and Shamar Green. These kids don't know I'm calling their names out. Jamar Wheeler and Shamar Green. They both up there they are. These two just have personal stories within their lives and within their families that they have overcome a lot. They had a lot of love within their family and support, but there are just personal issues that they don't necessarily have to be the great kid that they are. Um, and they are, they're always smiling. They're always coming to us, shaking our hands, asking how our day is. Um, you'll get about two words a week out of Shamar, but you'll always see his smile. Uh, these two have overcome a lot with, with health in their family um, and j some things like that that I won't get into personally, but I just wanted to recognize them. The last one I'll recognize tonight, if he can hear me, Zach Johnston. Where's Zach? There's Zach. Zach is one of everybody's favorites, and I'm not going to get into his personal story, but all I'll tell you is he came to us about three years ago from Big Sandy, and he fit into this class, and they all kind of adopted him, and Zach is the absolute life of the party. If you come to Gilmer High School, Zach's going to put on a show for you, I promise. So he makes us all smile. He makes us all laugh, and he, he has a love of life that you won't see from too many people. So J Zach Johnston. So John Gordon said in one of his books, this is his quote, and it kind of goes along with what the girl said earlier. If you want to be great, I hope you realize it's not about what you accumulate for yourself, but rather how much of yourself, your time, your energy, and your talents that you give to others. This group has had to endure a lot of change and overcome many obstacles. So I found a quote a little bit about that, and I share this often. John F. Kennedy said, change is the law of life and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Do not fear change, embrace it. Y'all should know that more than anyone. It will build your character, it will build your self-esteem, your love of different things and places. Don't miss out on the good stuff in front of you. To the parents, thank you for allowing myself and these others to serve your child. Students, I think and pray all of you know this, but I'm going to tell you one more time. I love each and every one of you with all my heart. Each of you will always be a part of my family, and you're always going to be part of the Gilmer Buckeye family. Go Buckeyes. And now, Mr. Albritton. I present to you the Gilmer High School class of 2020, and I certify that they have met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the state of Texas and the Gilmer ISD Board of Trustees. With the first row, please rise. Molly Alexandra Sullivan. Caitlin Danielle Castro. Katie Lee Amaya. Logan Ross Hall. Timothy James Hopping. Mackenzie Raylin Kitchell.
Delaney Faith Wilson. Nicholas Hugh Hamilton. Audrey Scott Nolan. Morgan Christina Hughes. Daphne Renee Hancock. Bonnie Marie Clifton. JC Catherine Pilcher. Heather Marie Carter. Stanley Jacob Mahan. Georgia Elaine Puckett. Porfirio Abundes. Porfirio Abundes. Angela Aguanagua. Elijah Kane Altus. Mark Wayne Anthony Jr. Alexandria Tierra Armstrong. Jalen. Diamond Armstrong. Rory Davis Arterberry. Savannah Dawn Bailey. Carson Glenn Barber. Cheyenne Michelle Barber. Benjamin Allen Barrett. Selena Josie Beal.
Catherine Eileen Bennett. Brandon Lee Black. Catherine Audrey Blackwell. Jesse Edgar Bledsoe, AKA Edgar Bledsoe. Kia Nicole Boleen. Elijah William Earl Bramlett. Brett Allen Britton. Fidel Alexander Bueno Esquivel. Timothy Terrell Burton. Daryl Juan Bush. Angel Gabrielle Cabrera. Jordan Wade Cannon. Caitlin Nicole Chandler. Ani Crystal Chavez. Ayana Lorraine Choice. Colton Wayne Clamp. Madison Elizabeth Coke. Bladen Ray Collum. Grant Stephen Kucher. Cameron Seth Cox. Stephen Gregory Daniels. Bailey Nicole Danner. Joshua Connor Davenport.
Darian Michelle Davis. Haley Brooke Davis. Buddy Lindell Denton. Fernanda Almazon Diaz. Jackson McKenzie Dodd. Rebecca Lynn Dunn. Crystal Echeverria. Brian Esquivel. Matthew Christian Fagioni. Diamond Renee Fluellen. Sydney Grace Frederick. Anayeli Garcia. Courtney Michelle Garrett. Jordan Elijah Gilberg. Edwin Govea. Caitlin Laco Rockwell Granville Tyranny Nicole Granville Brooklyn Elizabeth Gray. Mackenzie Renee Green. Shamar Dwayne Green. Gabriel Arnes Griffin, Jr. Dylan Cade Guidry. Nathaniel Leon Hayden.
Delacia Lene Harris. Kajabrian Omarian Hart. Riley Shane Hendricks. Tessa Marie Howe. Kaylin James Huey. Casey Lynn Irons, Jr. Avery Ann Jackson. George Jaramillo. Kaylee Jeanette Jensen. Erica Latrice Johnson. Zachary Brandon Johnston. Madison Brooke Jones. Nisha Renee Jones. Kylie Elise Jordan. Devin Isaiah King. Jacob Paul Knight the second. Joshua Braden Knight. Alondra Juliet Laura. Autumn Sky Levis. Haley Lauren Logan. Taylor Lee Lord. Marcy Abigail Lowe. Laney Patrice Lorimore. Carson Blake Martin. Martin. 
Alexis Lorraine Mathis. Jamie Christopher McAllister. Robin K. McCulley. Madison Michelle McKeon. Benjamin David McLaughlin, Jr. Demontre DeMarcus McNeil. Bobby Dwayne Morgan. James Arthur Morrow. Lane Riley Nations. Marissa Kaylee Nolan. Blake Tyler Olivares. Eileen Ortiz Contreras. Seth Malachi Osborne. Amaria Marie Pace. Kayla Corin Peltzer. Kevin Larry Perez. Juliana Pina Segura. Alan Daniel Plata. Dalton Gage Plunkett. Ty Davis Rackley. Kimmy Elizabeth Marie Rash. Eddie Dicarian Ray. Jalen Brianne Riggs.
Riley Nicole Rigsby. Grace Melissa Ritter. Kasman Brianne Robertson. Vincent Rashad Rockwell. Jarvis Donnell Ross. Joel Saeed Salinas. Kate Michelle Sausado Amazon. Abraham Edward Serrano. Daryl the Charles Shed. Trenton Lee Shelton. Dayton Lamarcus Shepherd Matthew Gregory Sinclair Michael Allen Smith Tyler James Stanley Jason, Jason Christian Somerville Jr. Jessica Ann Tabor Trinity Portia Tamez Allison Renee Taylor Austin Schuyler Terry Haley Alana Testa Adrian Trinidad Gabriel Glenn Tucker Amanda Lee Tut
Esteban Haciel Valdez Torres. Gracie Rose Weaver. Alexius Alexandra Elaine Webb. Jalen K. Werner. Jamar Trajan Wheeler. Malik Solomon Williams. Patrick Ray Williams. Serenity Lynn Wilson. Colby Charles Wynn. Keviana Deshay Woods. Eric Zamoron. Jose De Jesus Zarate. Junior While we're waiting on the last row to be seated, there's a group I do want to recognize that I noticed as they were walking through. We have several. If you're a 2020 graduate and you're leaving to go to the military, please stand up, be recognized. I think that's the most we've had in one class. So congratulations, guys. One other student I want to recognize, she was the first student in at least five years at Gilmer High School that finished the entire pharmacy tech program. And it's very difficult, it's very time consuming, and she's gonna be going to UT Tyler to become a pharmacist, Miss Daphne Hancock. I would now like to call Ms. McKenzie Raylan Kitchell up to give our closing remarks. If you would please bow your heads and pray with me. Heavenly Father, we have come here today to acknowledge our achievements. We thank you for your grace and protection over us 
during our time at Gilmer High School and pray blessings. Thank you for all the memory, amazing memories we have made, for the friendships we've created, for the lessons we've learned, and for the adventures we've shared. As we enter this next phase of our lives, be with us, order our steps after your will, and guide our hearts after yours. In all our endeavors, let us show your love to the world around us. I pray that every student here will receive blessings and favor, not only from you, but from the people we encounter. I pray protection over our community, and I pray love and peace around us. Lord, give us the greatest desires of our hearts. And most importantly, Lord, help us to walk through this life with you as our cornerstone and our savior. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Graduates, if you'll please stand, turn to your tassels. Tassels are turned left to right. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Gilmer High School Class of 2020. away with social distancing down here so if all the fans will exit you cannot come down on the field uh, graduates I guess if 